In this video, I'm gonna be talking about FBA and FBM, the difference between both of these metrics when selling on Amazon. I'm gonna make this video short and sweet to help you guys out as much as possible. All I ask is you just hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I teach you guys how to sell full-time on Amazon. It's how I make a full-time living. Last year, I hit over a million dollars in sales selling on Amazon. All this information is always free. Just hit that subscribe button. It just takes five seconds of your time. So let's get started. So Amazon FBA stands for Fulfills by Amazon. This is the route that I recommend you to do when selling on Amazon. And why do I recommend going FBA over FBM? Because fulfilled by Amazon means that Amazon packs, ships, and delivers your product to the customer without you having to do a thing. So Amazon FBA is when your products are Amazon Prime and when a customer buys your products, Amazon does all the work for you. But to do Amazon FBA, you're gonna have to get your products to Amazon's warehouse and Amazon does partner with like UPS and other shipping carriers to get your shipping costs really cheap to even send it to their warehouse. So sending it to Amazon's warehouse, you have two options. You have SPD, which is like just taking packages, carton boxes and sending to Amazon's warehouse, which is something I usually do unless I'm doing a really big cargo container, then I'll be using LTL, less than truck load, I believe, or less than load, one of these terms. And what this is, is uh, like an 18 wheeler cargo container and they have all your products mixed with a bunch of other people's products as well. And they ship it to Amazon's warehouse. If you're doing a very, very large shipment that's over a thousand pounds, then I'll do LTL. But for the most part, SPD is like uh, more what you're gonna be using. But I'm just getting this really confusing. So we're gonna stick to Amazon FBA and FBM because that's a whole nother category. Shipping is a whole nother category that you have to learn and I have those videos out on my channel as well. So FBA is fulfilled by Amazon and FBM is fulfilled by Merchant. FBM is when you're shipping the products from your house and somebody buys your product on Amazon's website and you have an FBM listing. This is when it's not Amazon Prime but like you can still sell on Amazon and ship the products yourself. But one thing that Amazon's platform really favors is FBA sellers because of Amazon Prime and customers really prefer Amazon Prime as well. So if you're doing FBM, you're in a very big disadvantage because nobody wants to buy products that are not Prime. People are spoiled with getting that one day shipping, two day shipping, and it's really, really crazy how the Amazon algorithm works. So they really bump up FBA listings over FBM listings. So if you're considering selling on Amazon, I would always, pretty much always figure out a way to do FBA. Let's say if your products are like fragile and you're scared that Amazon's gonna ruin the products and you're doing FBM, I would figure out a way to make it as, you know, like fragile proof as possible to do Amazon FBA because this is how you're gonna scale your business. Like every year I've been selling on Amazon, I've been able to scale my business 50 to 100% because I use Amazon FBA to my advantage. So what I do is I make sure the profit margin for all my products are over 35% and that they're selling well and that all my products are always on that first page of Amazon. And I teach you guys how to do all that later on in my channel. I have more videos on that exactly how to get product research, ranking on the first page, doing advanced advertising on Amazon, all that information. But Amazon FBA, you really, really wanna make sure that the profit margin that you're selling is 35% or higher. And Amazon FBA is something I really recommend over FBM. Just because Amazon packs it and ships it and delivers it to your customer. So it's almost like Amazon employees are kind of working for you if you use it to your advantage. So you don't have to deal with employees or anything like that, payroll or anything along those lines. Everything is pretty much automated when a customer buys your product. All you have to do 
is make sure that your inventory is always in stock, that your products are always high quality, that you're not having any customer issues, and that you ranked on that first page of Amazon. You really, really wanna make sure that you're ranked on the first page of Amazon because nobody really looks on the second page the third page, fourth page. Most people that are buying on Amazon, they're probably spending a few seconds, they're on the go. They could be even scrolling on Amazon. They need to find something really quick to buy for the next day or anything like that. And then they're just gonna make a quick decision. So make sure that your products are ranked on that first page and that you have a very good listing as well. Good pictures, good reviews, good just everything perfect. I have that, another video for listing optimization as well. So yeah, that's about it guys. FBA versus FBN. I really, really recommend FBA instead because it's just so much easier and it's gonna save a bunch of time and headaches and ranking on Amazon's a lot easier. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful to you guys regarding FBA and FBM. If you have any questions regarding Amazon, Feel free to leave a comment down below. Feel free to reach out to me on social media as well. I'll try to help you guys out as much as possible. And also hit that subscribe button below to learn more of selling on Amazon. See you guys on the next one. Peace.